Rift is the oh, the the profit is always the reward of taking this. By Standard and Poor's Moody's. We have to develop our own rating agents. So if you uh, lose in some uh, cases, you will succeed in, uh, in others. Okay, so let's move to uh, to food security. Uh, do you think that the problem of food security, food safety, are really important for Muslim world? Now, oh. there are many countries who are who, who want to produce food stuff. Agricultural products are very uh, some countries there is none no agricultural products. Obviously, every country needs food, so therefore. The security of food is a basic need of all countries, not, not a particular country. I do have a feeling because, no, of course, some Muslim countries are relatively more wealthy, some Muslim countries are relatively more poor. I do have a feeling that, uh, that uh, wealthy Muslim countries really want to uh, to help uh, poor, poor, poor Muslim countries to provide their food security, something like a Muslim, Muslim, Muslim solidarity, or not? Yes, of course, it is a need direction of our Sharia of Islam that uh, the poor, the wealthy, could help the poor. So, uh, Islam, uh, as I told earlier, that uh, the Holy Quran says that uh, the wealth should not be rotated between the so therefore, uh, the countries who have these people, they should uh, help the poor, poor countries and they should perform their duty in that, that, that regard. But uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, the profit motive, profit motive in uh, the business uh, activities has uh, some kind of greed. So, unless we remove this greed and uh, you know, understand the needs of the poor, then uh, we cannot uh, uh, fulfilling cannot be fulfilling our duties. The rich countries should be uh, providing food, providing uh, food to, to other countries, either as a, as a charity at reasonable price. Just as this money, in uh, here in Russia or in some countries where Muslim are in, in, in minority, uh, they criticize Islamic finance from the point of view that some something like it. Look, in, in Islamic countries where almost all are Muslim, like Saudi Arabia or like even Pakistan, as I visited Pakistan twice, uh, the majority of population or of Muslim population use conventional banking or at least we use conventional banking and Islamic banking at the same time. So I saw a lot of people in Pakistan who have at the same time accounts in conventional banks or, or, or in Islamic bank. Why do Muslim uh, do, do so? And because in my opinion it undermines uh, trust to Islamic finance in, in non-Muslim countries because people in non-Muslim countries say that look, even Muslim use conventional bank banking, why should we use this Islamic bank? In fact, this uh, trend is gradually, you know, the trend of uh, uh, going to Islamic banks is increasing day by day. And the fact that it's still they are 15% in, in Pakistan, for example. Uh, the, 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 the reason is not that Islamic banks are not, uh, are not uh, bringing, uh, bringing uh, profit or, uh, or uh, you know, competitors. Or, but the, uh, the real reason is that the Islamic finance uh, uh, is not, uh, is not uh, you know, the, the people are not educated according to the, uh, the what about our, what uh, Islamic finance means. To know that the, uh, all, in all countries, Muslims or non-Muslims, they have been uh, educated in a system in which there was no place of Islamic finance at all. So their mentality is to uh, follow what is what is uh, what is uh, you know 
what is required in the society. So therefore, uh, the reason is not that Islamic banks are not competent. They are very competent and the, this is reflected by the rate of growth of Islamic banks. The Islamic banks are growing more uh, speedily than uh, the conventional, uh, conventional banks. Even in the but the problem is that the mentality of those who are in power, they uh, do not, they have been uh, trained in the existing system, uh, conventional system. So therefore, they are very fearful whether we will be, uh, will be, will succeed or not. So therefore, uh, they are uh, not uh, converting the whole system into the Islamic world. But they are gradually proceeding towards that. And, and uh, you know, Sometimes it was 6% or 7%, now it is 15%. In Saudi Arabia, maybe uh, around uh, 80%. In some other countries, maybe uh, 100%. For, in, for example, in Sudan, in Libya, we can uh, explain the Islamic finance to the people. So uh, I think that the rate of uh, growth will increase day by day. Mm. Just this morning, uh, one more reason why people uh, reject Islamic finance, in my opinion, is that they believe that uh, uh, Islamic finance is a little bit more ex expensive compared to conventional banks as a, a source, source of funding, because people for their own business try to attract as, uh, as, as cheapest uh, as far funding as possible. What, uh, what, uh, how can you respond to, to, to this argument? This is not, actually, uh, this is not correct, in, in fact, that all Islamic bank, banks or Islamic financial institutions uh, are, are charging more than uh, commercial banks, or uh, they are more expensive. In some cases, in some cases there is a, a difference between commercial the, 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 the basic reason for that is that, uh, the, for example, if we uh, to take Muraba, Muraba financing, you know that uh, Muraba financing. So Muraba financing, in Muraba financing, the rate is not fluctuating, uh, the rate is fixed. You know? So uh, and the term of finance is much more. So therefore, uh, instead of uh, uh, charging a little price at uh, in the, in the uh, uh, lesser price at the outset, they you know take the whole period in, cons in, in consideration in Muraba. But in Jara, in other uh, financing uh, financing modes, they uh, the situation is not this that uh, they are charging more. But the uh, the level of uh, you know, you, uh, order, you know that uh, the different banks, according to their station, they charge uh, different rates. So one must not com uh, compare a, a bank uh, with a conventional bank uh, with, uh, that has a big station or, or small station. So therefore, uh, the comparison would be if both Islamic bank and uh, uh, conventional bank out of the same stage. And if they charge more, then this ob object uh, this uh, object is right. But it is not the case in many uh, in many financing activities. So, so far, I uh, am aware. Just as money, uh, conventional banks are criticized a lot for they create money from uh, from here, from nothing, uh, by the system called partial re uh, reservation. Uh, do Islamic banks uh, make the same or not? Uh, for, the t as a, for the time being, they are doing, uh, doing that. But uh, the basic difference is that because the uh, Islamic banks are uh, trading or are, uh, are uh, they are all transactions are based on assets, real assets. That's a result system. Uh, is is uh, uh, less uh, operated uh, operating in Islamic banks. 
because if you trade money to, uh, versus money, then uh, always the fractional reserve, uh, reserve system will uh, will in, uh, will increase the artificial money or, or increase the creation of money. But when we transact with goods and services, then the fractional reserve system, uh, although operating in that case also, but uh, to, a, uh, to a lesser level. Could you explain a little bit the concept of risk in, 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 in Islamic finance and Islamic law? Because uh, you, you told us that understanding of reasonable risk is, a diff is different in Islamic world compared to the Western world. You, you told us that it's not possible to uh, make business uh, without risk and the reason why you can make a profit for, from uh, any business is just you, uh, you, 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 take, you take some risk. Could you tell us a little bit more about this concept of risk in Islamic law and finance? Risk is the, oh, the, the profit is always the reward of taking risk. So some kind of risk must be there, without which you cannot earn profit, uh, a halal profit, a permissible profit, a reasonable profit, uh, unless you take some risk. Even in the, in the sales, for example, if I open a market and I am a trader, I am a businessman, when I sell commodities, I take the risk of the commodities, the risk of the commodities, and that risk bring, brings to me the profit. So in, uh, in Islamic finance, uh, there is no concept of trading in money. It is always uh, you know, uh, uh, back, uh, based on assets, not asset back, but asset based uh, economy that Islamic uh, finance leads to. So, therefore, uh, the risk is necessary. However, the risk should, can be minimized by expertise, by putting some, uh, some extra, uh, extra, uh, extra precaution. So, it can be minimized by diversification of the portfolio. So if you uh, lose in some uh, cases, you will succeed in, uh, in others. And uh, uh, they bring an equilibrium uh, between losses and, and uh, profits. Just this morning, I have one more question connected to risk because in the Western world, uh, risk are assessed uh, by credit, credit rating agencies, and you told you told us that even uh, great companies, great investors in Muslim world trust to Western ratings, which are issued by Standard and Poor's, Moody's, and. Um, uh, yes, and Fitch, but at the same time you told us that uh, uh, probably the concepts uh, we in, in which Western credit ratings are based is, 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 is not correct. Uh, could you explain why this concept is, uh, is not correct and how c c can it be moderated? In fact, uh, uh, you know, it, I don't say that it is not correct. I say that it is not compliant with the uh, Sharia principle. Okay, yeah. Because if rating is based on Sharia principle, then uh, the risk should be, should be there, you know. But the rating agencies, uh, they rate uh, the companies or they rate the finance institutions on the basis of uh, avoiding risk totally. So this is the difference between Islamic finance uh, rating and, and uh, commercial finance rating. So we should develop, you know, if we are proceeding towards Islamic finance, we have to develop our own rating agency, uh, the, uh, which uh, may take into account the uh, compliance with Sharia. And uh, you must uh, understand, uh, you must uh, appreciate that uh, the, uh, the risk of non-compliance with Sharia is also a risk because uh, if you are not compliant with Sharia, you have to uh, to uh, you know withdraw from your profit and go to uh, you know charity. Pay it to charity. charity. So this is Sharia compliance, non-Sharia compliance risk. So this risk should also be uh, part of the rating of Islamic. And we in, uh, I, you know that there is a, 
Institute of uh, IFSB, that is Islamic Finance Services Board. They are preparing standards for regulating Islamic financial institutions from the central bank, from regulatory authorities. So, in those standards, this kind of risk is also be, uh, has been taken uh, as a risk. And to avoid that risk, they have, uh, you know, uh, they have invented certain regulations. But do uh, financial sector of Islamic countries uh, try to create alternative system of credit rating agencies? And if yes, uh, whether these attempts are successful or not successful? They are, uh, uh, in fact, they are not creating such rating. Yes, one rating agency was established some, uh, in, in the past, but uh, uh, it could not have the help or assistance from the financial institutions. So therefore, uh, it was not a success uh, so far. Although it is existing, yet it is, it is not working. Uh, the, uh, it uh, uh, could not work because of uh, the lack of interest by the financial Mm -hmm. If uh, we, I would like to ask to give you some advice to for 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 our future Agrofin Most project, because uh, de facto it can be structured by two alternative ways or by combination of two alternative ways. Because on the one side, uh, one uh, option is is to create a partnership with with Islamic partners like uh, Musharraka, for, for example. And alternative is not create such partnership, but just issue bonds like a base life, for example, Sukuk, Sukuk Salam, for example, it's possible to issue bonds to, at, at the stock, stock market of the one of uh, 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 Gulf, uh, Gulf countries. Uh, but uh, which option is, uh, is better, is more attractive in your opinion? Oh, we should combine uh, both these two, 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 two options. And, uh, in my opinion, the joint venture is the best option from Sharia point of view. And also, in, 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 in uh, joint joint uh, interface, of course, uh, the uh, support holders will be more benefited than in a debt-based uh, debt uh, support. So, my preference is always the to but uh, if it is not practicable for, for some reason, then uh, the, there may be a combination of the two. Uh, just this morning, when uh, investors from uh, non-Muslim countries try to attract, uh, attract inv uh, investments from, uh, from Muslim investors, what are the typical mistakes why uh, companies uh, cannot uh, attract attract these uh, uh, su su such investments. What uh, typical mistakes uh, do they do at, at, at Islamic markets? Uh, at the Islamic markets. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, attract uh, the attract money. Yes, definitely. For investment. Yes, definitely. Then, uh, I, uh, just, there are many factors, political factors, you know, bilateral uh, relations. So, if the people are, are confident that our investment will uh, will be successful, then they will be attracted. So, in, like I said, with regard to Russia, you know, there was a concept that uh, they were they were reluctant to invest in uh, Russia because they were not confident whether their investment will bring fruit or not. So. But uh, uh, now your policy, uh, the health policy, are now uh, opening the, uh, the window, opening the channel. So I think it shall like will be uh, in the in future. We may, uh, we may hope that uh, the people are invested and uh, investment in the uh, You told us that you are a lot of criticized by some 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 American scholars. Why do we criticize you? Uh, this question should be asked from them. 
criticizing me, but uh, basic reason is that uh, you know many of them do not uh, want Islam to be presented in a an acceptable form. So they are against Islam. They are uh, they uh, they feel that Islam uh, is their enemy, or so they feel that Islam is uh, is, uh, is uh, the name of terrorism, etc. So this is uh, some kind of propaganda that has been raised. But uh, on the at the same time, even in US, US there were people who, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, wrote about uh, wrote uh, in favor of Islamic finance, or in my favor. It was that George Washington University for the first time that he uh, named me as a uh, in 500 or uh, yeah, top yeah. 50. Uh, in top six, in top six, yeah. <laughs> top 50, uh, 50 of, uh, you know, uh, influential persons. And there were many articles written by, uh, you know, uh, those who are, uh, who are uh, you know, uh, study, who have studied Islamic finance, they have studied my book. So there was also a praise from, from them towards me and uh, many articles in, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, in uh, U.S. Uh, papers were published in my field. Mm. Uh, just a moment, please tell us, uh, uh, did you change while your really long life your opinion about any important aspects of Islamic finance? If yes, could you give us an example of some issue you, are, you, you have a different opinion from opinion you had uh, in the past? Uh, I have, you know, because I'm all that I'm uh, always open to any ar argument uh, argument is before me. So I have detracted from many, uh, many fatwas that I have stood. And I have a, 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 a series of uh, this kind of, uh, you know, this kind of uh, fatwas uh, uh, which are issued in my monthly magazine, Alpera. But so far as Islamic finance is concerned, I don't think that I have reverted back from any decision or any uh, any fatwa about the climate plan. But on other matters, I'm, uh, I have detected from something. Okay. Next one, you have maybe two, two last questions. Of course, uh, like Islamic finance community knows who 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 your son is, but uh, please uh, could you tell us some, uh, a few words for for non-professionals about your son? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has has uh, has uh, mercy on me that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given me such a son. Alhamdulillah, he is uh, educated from our Darulum first, and then he has uh, had. Alhamdulillah, competence in Fiqha and uh, Islamic studies, and then he uh, mastered, uh, he did his PhD in Islamic finance. And now he is uh, one of the most known figures in the field of Islamic finance throughout uh, in UK, in USA, in, in Australia, in Sri Lanka. Many, uh, he sits on the board, Australia board of many countries many Islamic financial institutions and he has uh, the first uh, I got into my, my my own assessment so I'm not uh, I'm exaggerating because of his being my son but uh, Alhamdulillah I felt that I have been uh, you know, working with many banks throughout the world I had working I had been working with HSBC uh, with the city Islamic bank with you know many other things. But I did not uh, see such a uh, such a big uh, department of Sharia compliance as he developed in Israel, in Mizan Bank. So uh, about 60 people, you know, under his uh, supervision are working for Sharia compliance and 
development of uh, new products for Islamic world, Islamic world. So, Alhamdulillah, and his book is more detailed in Islamic finance than my book. Is he more conservative or less conservative compared to you? <laughs> he is uh, more, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he reflects my opinion, in fact. So, therefore, uh, his, but his book on Islamic finance is more detailed and more, uh, more touching the uh, practical issues of uh, how to uh, run an Islamic finance issue. Mm. And uh, just as this morning, you spent uh, two days in the High School of Economics University. You had a speech while the plenary, and you have uh, you had your personal honorable lecture. Uh, what was your impression from from the university? Did you like it or not? And is it similar to your university, where where you serve, serve as a vice or vice rector or not? Or, or not? So, what, what, what is your what is your opinion? My opinion, my impression is very good. Alhamdulillah, I found the university very uh, very useful for all for all the humans, including Muslims, and I was very happy that it is an open-minded university. So it, it, it is, has no bias against anyone. And then I uh, was uh, given a, an opportunity to present my own uh, opinions about uh, the uh, Islamic finance. And I was uh, so impressed that I'm thinking of uh, learning Russian language uh, in this old age. Okay, and maybe the last uh, few finishing question, just this morning, what would you like to wish to Russian, uh, Mus Russian Muslim people and maybe to, 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 to Russian people at all? I would, uh, you know, advise the Muslim people here in Russia that they develop a very uh, understanding uh, atmosphere with their, uh, their fellow country. And there should be a good understanding, a good uh, manner of peaceful, uh, peaceful coexistence, and they should be very uh, to be ready to follow the, uh, the laws of the country. And also, I would advise the uh, Russian people to uh, to lift these barriers of barriers of religion, barriers of uh, uh, you know races, sympathetic and and also to be open to the other world with uh, understanding. Shall I to develop good relations with the country between the just want to thank you so much for the interview. I be, I know that you are the, se the second time in Russia, but I believe that you will come to us the third time, the fourth time, the the, uh, the, uh, the fifth time uh, for both business as a member of our council and even for non-business issues uh, as uh, just just an our friend. Thank 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 you so much. Thank you very much. I would be, uh, I would be very grateful. If I live long, then I will have some opportunity to come to Russia again. Okay, thanks.